Now, if you have already watched the first part of the video where we have made the refreshment income statement, now let us move forward and we need to make an income statement that is the main income statement for the club, which is known as income and expenditure account. First of all, we need to write the name of the club. Normally, these things are already written in an examination question. Income and expenditure account, it's a, a, it's a income statement for the entire club. Okay, so there will be only two headings in an income and expenditure account as the name suggests. One is income and one is expenditure. So there is no sales, cost of sale, return inward, return outward, carriage inward, carriage outward. There is no such thing here. There are only two items. One is income and one is expenses. This is the same format as you have studied previously uh, when making an income statement for a service business. Okay, In a service business, there is no sales and cost of sale. There is only an income and an expense. Uh, and finally, instead of profit for the year, we'll be writing surplus here. Why? Because a not-for-profit organization is made with a, not with an objective to make a profit. Instead, our objective is to provide some services to the society, okay, some value to the society. Therefore, we'll be writing surplus instead of profit and deficit instead of loss. We can write surplus for the year or just surplus short, okay, or deficit for the year or only deficit. Now, let us start making an income and expenditure account for the club. First of all, the, uh, the first of the profit that we are generating is from refreshment. We have already made calculating, uh, uh, preparing refreshment income statement and the final answer for this will be carried forward to an income and expenditure account that is profit from canteen or profit from refreshment. Okay, So instead if there was a loss from the refreshment that loss would be uh, written under the heading of expenditure. Okay, Loss from refreshment would be shown under the heading of expenditure. Then we have subscription income. What is subscription? My dear students, as you may be aware that uh, we use the word subscription very often. Uh, subscription is also made for websites and for other things for magazines as well. So here we are referring to the subscription for club. Now, if you want to become part of the club, if you want to become member of the club, you need to pay some amount so that the club can maintain its facilities. Okay, so that uh, maintenance fee is known as subscription income for the club. Now, if it's the income for the club, we used to make an income account. And for income account, we uh, use a mnemonic that is APPA. Uh, I'm not sure whether you have studied this previously. In the accruals and prepayment topic, we used to make this uh, T account known as income account or expense account. Okay. Uh, in an expense account, we use the mnemonic PAAP, PAP account, PAAP, and an income account, we use AAPA. Now, what is this APPA, sir? This is accrued, this is prepaid, then this is a prepaid once again, and then it, it is accrued. Now, why there are two accruals? Uh, one is for opening and one is for closing balance. Again, there are two prepaids. One is opening prepaid and another one is closing prepaid. Now, in an examination question, we never write accrued or prepaid. Instead, we write balance BD and balance CD. Uh, now, there are two sorts of accru uh, uh, subscription income. One is accrued income and one is prepaid income. Accrued income, my dear student, refer to as that club has provided facilities to its members, but the members had not played their part. Therefore, the members had not yet paid their share of contribution to the club. Okay, so this is accrued income. Accrued income is basically a receivable for the club. Okay, for club we have we are club we are uh, we are asking of that money from our members. We are uh, about to receive that money from our members. Therefore, it is an asset for the business. So, if the opening balance for asset would come on the debit side, the closing balance for the asset will come on the credit side. Now, prepaid income is the opposite of that. That members had paid us the amount, but the, we have not yet provided the facility to our members. Okay, the amount that we have not yet provided, uh, the facility that we have not yet provided to the members is basically the liability for the club. We need to provide this service to our members and if you are unable to provide that service to a member we need to refund the amount that we have taken from them in advance okay this is a liability for the business if the opening liability is dead it would come on the credit side and the closing liability would come on the debit side now it's not necessary in any question all of the items are given 
okay so therefore it is closing well uh, i have written dash this uh, balance is not given okay uh, if we have uh, maybe we have all four of these we maybe have we have three adjustment maybe have two or at least we have one adjustment if we do not have one adjustment also uh, therefore we do not need to make a subscription account subscription account will only be made if you have at least one adjustment of accruals and premium now whenever we receive money from our uh, members the entry would be bank would be debited and the subscription account would be created uh, why is bank being debited because bank is an asset for the business asset increases it will be debited and the subscription is income for the club therefore income would be credited when increase now as you may be aware uh, one more thing that if the members are unable to pay us the amount uh, that they uh, owe to us then this is refers to as a bad debt or irrecoverable debt okay so the entry would be bad or irrecoverable debt would be debited and subscription account would be created now the subscription uh, maybe few of the members have paid us uh, more amount or maybe they are leaving the club and we have a policy that whenever member goes and they have uh, paid us the amount uh, in advance so, so we need to return that uh, money to our members okay whenever we are refunding the amount to our members the entry would be bank or cash would be credited and subscription account would be debited now there are two banks just to differentiate this item from this bank that this amount has been received we need to write refund okay now uh, as you may be aware my dear student that this subscription is an income for the club and the nature for income is credited now if we uh, need to uh, decrease this subscription account and we need to transfer this to income and expenditure account the entry would be subscription account that is usually credited would be debited at the end of the year we need to reverse this and we need to close this and we need to transfer it to income and expenditure now how to calculate this income and expenditure value my dear students as you may be aware that the greater side would be credited why because uh, there is uh, one item th that is unavailable uh, on the debit side okay so the greater side would be credit credit side and if we write up the greater side on the both of the sides and if we deduct all of these from this total we'll be getting the figure for income and expenditure so this is basically the income figure that we were referring to and this income and expenditure value would be uh, coming here in this uh, income and expenditure account okay so there is one more scenario my dear students where we do not need to where we do not need to prepare this income and expenditure account why uh, when the examination question clearly says that we have for example 100 members and for each members we are charging a fee of 20 dollar okay we are being given the total number of members and we are being given that fee for each member if we multiply 100 to 20 we get the figure for maybe maybe 2000 okay so the 2000 figure will uh, uh, directly will come here in an income and expenditure account so if you are given the number of members and fees for each member we just need to multiply the two in order to get this income and expenditure value there therefore we do not need to make this income and expenditure uh, sorry this subscription account okay then we have some other sorts of incomes as well in, in any not-for-profit one of which is donations now my dear students you may be aware what does a donation means uh, donation to a charity or a club now there are two types of donation here one is donation of a revenue nature and another one is donation of a capital nature now if the examination question is silent and does not tell you uh, that what type of donation is this we will always treat this donation as a revenue nature and revenue nature donation always comes in an income and expenditure account okay but if the question specifically mentions that donation is of a capital nature and donation need to be capitalized or donation is for some specified purpose that the donor has given the donation to buy a certain piece of asset maybe we are a hospital and the donor wants us to buy a dialysis machine from this amount of money or maybe the donor wants us to buy an ambulance maybe for our uh, patients okay so therefore this donation would becomes a capital nature donation and it will not be shown here in an income expenditure account instead it will be shown in a statement of financial position that is balance sheet okay then we have profit from competition uh, my dear students sometimes uh, club arrange some sort of events for fundraising maybe there is some sort of concert or there is some sort of competition or an exhibition or some sort of matches or contest 
Uh, so these uh, uh, competitions or events are basically uh, organized in order to generate some funds or profits for the uh, for the club. Okay, so if we have uh, some sort of competition for which uh, we have uh, received fees for one thousand dollars, and there are some expenses that is three hundred dollar in order to conduct such an a uh, competition the, therefore the final figure that is 700 profit would be shown here profit from competition uh, or on the other hand if there was a loss from this event uh, maybe competition or concert the loss from a competition or concert would be shown in an expenditure bill. so the uh, the um, point that i'm trying to make here uh, we do not need to write income or an expense for competition separately instead we need to net the two figures that is the fees received from competition and the expense incurred from competition in order to arrive the net figure from competition okay so the management is aware that whether we should continue such uh, events in the future or not whether it are beneficial for the club or not okay then uh, if we add up all of these incomes this is the total for income then we have expenses now my dear student you should be aware that uh, the refreshment income statement have already been prepared and the expenses for refreshment have already been charged where in a refreshment income statement now the expenses that are other than refreshment uh, and other than competition needs to be charged here in the expenditure category and what it can be maybe a uh, rent the 30 percent rent belong to a uh, canteen area or refreshment the remaining 70 percent belong to the rest of the club we need to charge here and uh, maybe there are some utility bills electricity or gas bills and there is some depreciation the depreciation for refreshment related assets have already been charged to the refreshment income statement but the depreciation that belong to maybe the club that is clubhouse or a uh, club uh, maybe some other assets that belong to the uh, boating club or uh, these are charged to the uh, expenditure okay then we have some secretarial expenses secretary salary and these are charged to this okay so uh, the total income is there and total expenses are there if we deduct uh, expenses from income will be getting surplus or deficit and if the figure is positive my dear student this is a surplus for the club and the figure uh, if it is negative figure this is a deficit figure so i hope you are able to understand the concepts behind there are two types of income statement one for the refreshment canteen and one for the entire club which includes profit from canteen as well and in the third part my dear students will be making a statement of financial position for the not-for-profit organization